Hi. I'm now joined by Mark Golden. Mark, a big smile on your face. Um, <laughs> happy with the performance? Yeah, I thought so. You know, I'm seeing them play a cohesive kind of ball. Obviously, there's always room for improvement. But I thought in the first half, we looked very dangerous. We had quite a few chances that could have gone in, which didn't. But I'm glad we got the goal. So we ended the first half with a lead and we were able to hold on to it fairly comfortably. Uh, you know, the keepers, two matches in a row has really played well as well. That's helped us a lot. Two clean sheets. I think that, I think last match against Tivoli was the first clean sheet for the season for us. And we've done it again against Waterhouse, who, you know, are formidable opponents. So we were glad for the win tonight. Monday night football here at Sabina Park. Um, what do you think about the, the atmosphere, the, the fact that fans are back in the stands here supporting the community and, and, and the boys? It's great, man. It's great. I mean, it, you know, the surface is a nice surface to play on. That's what the players are telling me, which I would think it would be because obviously it's a, a cricket field, so the surface has to be good. And it's nice to have the crowd in here, uh, you know, and I rate the fact that they were able to come from the community and, you know, pay the money and come in. And um, we had a good turnout because the, the party stand over there looked pretty full and that stand, which is the other stand that they are opening up, was, was pretty jam-packed as well. So I think the promoters must be happy. And I know you are big in, in the community stuff as well. Very important for, the, for sports to be played here in the country as well and yeah. for, the, for, the, for the community itself to feel a part of it. Absolutely, man. I mean, certainly in, in Annick Gardens and in, in, in South St. Andrew generally, you know, the team is an important institution. The, the Tony Spalling Sports Complex is an important physical asset that we have. And the, the community really enjoys the football there. We haven't played any football in the community for a while now because of the pandemic. But I understand that in April we'll start getting matches again. So I'm looking forward to that. And I know the community is looking forward to that, especially because the team has been playing well. I was yeah. about to say, as the chairman of Arnett Gardens, what are the plans going forward? Obviously, there's no relegation this season, although you're at the opposite end of the table anyhow. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, what, is, what, is, what are the plans for a community as well as football within there? Well, from a footballing standpoint, you know, we have been executing a development plan, which has been important. So we've been trying to get a lot of younger players on board um, and to try and build a sustainable, financially sustainable model for the team, which the league as a whole has been working on. And I've been working with the Premier um, Professional Football Jamaica Limited from, from the outset to try and set it so that it can really take football to the next level. And, you know, these are communities which are low-income communities typically, so it, re it requires strong sponsorship support to, to, to become viable. And also, development football, meaning that you're producing a squad that is marketable internationally, and that's part of what we're trying to do as well. So that's important. And in terms of the, com the, the, the community as a whole, you know, as Tigat said, you know, getting crime and violence down is very important so that people can invest, people can engage in business, and the community can be uplifted. So that's something we're constantly working on. And, you know, give thanks at the moment. Things seem fairly calm and long may that last. All right, Mark, thank you for talking for us, with us. Great to have you here. Continue supporting the community and, yeah, and coming out to Monday Night Football. Yeah, I will look forward to other great evenings and, and a cut in the violence, of course. Absolutely. All the best. Respect. Thank you.